guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel, Trinity to the World, and I am here with Carissa, who is going to do for us a little information about the aqua. Now, for some of you all who would have already known, I actually did a review of this video, and I know you all have been asking for more information on it. So what we are going to do first is to read with her some of the comments that we would have gotten on the video thus far, and answer some of the comments in terms of what it is to the best of her ability because it's her vehicle that she has been driving for more than a year now so we're going to answer um she's going to answer to the best of her ability the questions that you all ask giving the examples of how she would have used the vehicle thus far so let's get straight into it train it to the world so the first comment i have say nice review bro for persons wanted to purchase one excellent and that's a good that's a very good answer uh, uh, comment there thus far yeah um, somebody else say excellent review and this is all things Avenel. she said excellent review just hopped on YouTube to see if there were any reviews of this vehicle and BAM we have Trini review I'm a fellow Trini youtuber though good job so very good Avenel. all things Avenel. you all could probably check out her channel also because she gave me a nice review so you all could also go and give her a nice review on her channel I also went and check out her channel too and it's pretty awesome we also have there's also a review camera that's what somebody comments and yes this model does yes. have a review camera how oh, it works thus far great okay, she said it works great yes a short switch straight to the point <laughs> yeah so good so the review camera works great um somebody said night day ha 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 i love it i might get one and that was based on the first video if i'm checking out check it out i made a little comment where i was saying that um why should <laughs> From each other drive, I made a mistake to say night and day, so somebody kept on to the human day. Um, Alexander Max say thanks. This was a pretty cool video, bro. So thank you, Alexander Mark. Um, Likwa actually say my boy say night and day. Yes, she laughed also about that, so that is good. Somebody say our next one will be night and day. Somebody say I'm weak here. You have night and day. Good one, laugh out loud. Um, Anushka Jaga said, I want this car so bad and I hope that you, if not have gotten it already, I hope that you already or soon will get the vehicle, so that's good. Um, right, TV Live said, thanks for the review. Is the push start troublesome? No. Any it's trouble at no. all? It starts without even hearing a song, it starts. Very good. So you hear that from the driver itself. I've been driving it for more than a year. That the push that gives no trouble, and as soon as you push it, the car starts without even giving a song. That's see how seamless and, and quiet the vehicle really is. They say a part easily available in Trinidad and Tobago. Yes, it is. So so far, yes, it is. Um, a cost is it cost effective to maintain the vehicle itself, or is it a costly vehicle that's far? No. no. So, very reasonable. Very reasonable. Um, yeah, no fixing yet. Right, no <laughs> fixing thus far. What about fuel efficiency? It's pretty awesome. Um, for the money you're spending, like about 600, it could be less, it could be more according to your in terms of, fuel. In terms of how right. you drive. And that's premium, super premium. It's the best. And that's what you use? Yes, premium. Ah. Premium is running on, but it's designed ready for super. Yes, but premium tends to for durability and long lasting. Premium is better. Right. Now, there is no scientific backup for this. This is just an open discussion yes. between us. So, by all means, you can run it on super or as some person might yes. choose, you can run it on premium. And the difference in premium and super is a dollar per liter? I think somewhere around. Yeah, because I think so it's, it's like have, four dollars so something for super and okay. five dollars something for premium. So, it's just like one dollar difference. Right? Um, good. Next question. Next comment. Um, Adana Marie said, thanks for the review. Does your radio come with local channels or you have to get it tuned? No, it doesn't. You have to get it. You have to buy the um, trip to put you to change it. Okay, so it doesn't come with Adana Marie, we answer that question for you. It did not come into the country because it is a, a vehicle brought from another country. It doesn't come into the country tuned for local Trinidad channels. However, you buy the chip, as she said, you plug it in and there you go it's able to play um local radio station so you that, can also that's put easy. sd cards or flash drives it's up to you and you could also have the ability to do bluetooth to connect bluetooth, your phone yes right bluetooth sd cards um what else you said flash drives flash drives cds no yeah, yeah. 
CD player also, so that is good. Again, basically all the fun mediums there. What you HDMI? It have HDMI capabilities. Yeah. HDMI too. The, right, everything you need right there. You can connect and go. Right. All right. Good. So let's go on to the next comment. Hey, it's been a year since you posted. Any updated thoughts or tips on buying one of these? And this is from Celine Weeks. And just to say, Celine, is because of you we did the second video, to be honest, because I would have seen your comment last night, and I then contacted her and said, hey, I show her your comment, and I see people asking for more information, and because of you, Celine, we are doing this video, so I hope, big props to you, thank you so much. So, Carissa, to answer Celine's um, question, it has been a year since you posted any updated video, that's mine, any updated thoughts or tips on buying one of these? So, any updated thoughts you have from when you first had it to know, anything in you like it more, you like it less? Um, I would recommend it. It's really an awesome um, thing. It's very spacious. It has all the, as he does say, bells and whistles. Bells and whistles, correct. So, um, yes, I would recommend it to anybody who's willing to purchase one. What about tips? Any tips for, for like any things you probably would have picked up over the time that you think other drivers might not know about the vehicle that you know and you want to share with somebody? Um, yeah. Just Saturday, I know. When I press a button, the windows could close while you drive. I was like, yeah, hey, I didn't even know that. What? Yes. While you driving? While you driving, you could press a button and the glass, the side yeah. mirrors, yeah. close in. Okay. I was like, I didn't know that. I was shocked because when I did the first videos, guys, if you were watching the first I videos, you know, know I didn't even show that or demonstrate that as part. At least I don't think so. I don't think I shared that in the first video. No. So that is good. And it's right there on the dashboard. Right at the side by the adjust by the adjustments. Probably I might just share it, but the silver. By the ticket. adjustments, right. Right, good. I was good, like, good. it's one of the car pass, but the place was a little tight, pass through, so I couldn't like, hey, 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 so, do that. So you press the button, then you realize. Then I realized, right. I was like, okay. Awesome, but that is good. As she says, it's awesome to her because she did not know it before that it was a feature. So imagine if you didn't know a feature of your vehicle and automatically you find out one day. You and all would be just as uh, so excited. So that is good. I, I know I would have been excited also. Um, here's an next comment somebody said. Sheldon Kuchko. He said, I would like to know the size of the engine, the capacity of the hybrid battery pack, and the range on electric mode if possible. So... The size of the engine. Um, I'm not a mechanic. Actually, it was on one of the documents that I saw upstairs. It did have the engine information. Well, at least I think it had the engine. I'm, I'm not a mechanic neither. I should just say I'm not, I'm not a mechanic. I don't know. But Google, you know, Sheldon, sorry to say, Google might be able to provide you with a little more in depth information on the vehicle because it's a I'm source a female, of information. Female, I don't know much about the vehicle. I feel she's going somebody. I and female do know plenty about vehicles, okay guys? Let's not bash her for that. Hey, <laughs> one of them. Um the capacity of the hybrid battery pack. I really don't know the capacity of the hybrid battery pack just to say, but Google again you might be able to get the information. The range on the electric mode if possible. Does the electric mode have a range? If you go to a certain speed it come out of electric. Sixty. Mode. Once you cross the sixty kilometers, kilometers yeah. right? Once you cross the sixty kilometers. It goes over to the gas. To the gas. And then I'm wanting to start to use gas. Right, so when you now start the vehicle, it's in gas. Right. And then after, what what then mileage or kilometers? No, 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 once it starts and it, it will convert automatically. It's just like the So it's just for the first second? Yes. It just, okay. And then, Good. right. So as soon as you start, it starts on gas, but then it change over to okay. afternoon. It starts on gas and then it change over to electric. And then as she said, if you go beyond, 60 kilometers forward then it goes into the normal gas lane mode which you'll be using premium and then you could also use super also. so that is good to know um someone else this is christopher he said this review which was for the first video really helped me thank you so much for doing it christopher i'm glad that you liked the video i'll also ask you if you got a lot from the video please share the video with other persons so that they also could be informed because some of you have a vehicle and it doesn't necessarily know all the bells and whistles as i said so thank you so much christopher um, I cannot pronounce this person's name, but it's a very detailed review, much appreciated. I try my best, I am not a vehicle expert, so thank you for that. Next comment, from Amelia Augustine, she said, thank you for this review. You're welcome. Thank you for commenting on the video. Um, Ninin Kobin, if I pronounce it correct, said, I drove one for the first time today. Oh, it was sweet. Think I'm going to convert from my wing road. That's nice. Yes, too. Why not? Why not from the from the wing room? 
Marissa um, Graham said, I believe the sensor on top of the glass is GPS related in Japan. And I remember I, I threw out the question in one of the previous videos and possibly it is Marissa. I, it, I think it is also, I'm not certain. If somebody knows for sure, please feel free to put in some information. Um, Ricardo said, great work bro. Jesse test drive review now. Maybe one day I'll actually do a test drive review to let you guys see on it. So we'll see how it goes, why not? Um, Isa said, love this video. Someone else said, Toyota for life. Yes, it is. Um, Rishi said, thanks for such a good review, good information for someone looking to purchase one. Thank you, I, Rishi, I'm glad to hear that you said that. Orlando said, excellent review, bro. Um, what we're doing, guys, just if you're now tuning in, we're actually going to do, we're looking at some of the comments that you all put and answering them if there's questions to be answered or just throwing out a thank you to you guys for commenting. Um, Kevin Gasper said, night and day will laugh out loud. <laughs> yeah, I will laugh too when I think it. Kerry said, um, Sungi, if I pronounce it correct, that's the auxiliary port for phone, tablet, iPods, etc. But all in one, it's an okay video. So I believe you say you have an auxiliary port somewhere in the game. Yes. So phone, tablet, and iPods. I, I didn't know. I just used to go to the Yeah. To charge right here on the phone. Yeah. Um, Trini Toya said, is this the L model? Is it the L model? No, I think it's the S, I'm not sure. The, I think it's the S. I think it might be the SE model, I'm not certain. We tried to do some digging up to find out which one it is, but we still yet it to officially answer that. It was on the invoice, but I can't put my hands on it right now. Okay. Um, Alpha O'Neill say, hey, what about fuel economy? Well. Um, Alpha, we answered it just now there. She says, very fuel efficient, average five to six hundred dollars TT a month to run the vehicle, and that is using premium fuel. So, that's good. Um, Naichi Lee, hey Kerwin, you did an awesome, awesome job on this video. Thank you so much for showing us the Aqua Hybrid, so helpful. Um, Naichi Lee, thank you so very much for your comments. Um, somebody said, great video, do another one. One, another one, sorry, on miles per gallon. Hmm. That's, that's, that's technical there. No, I'm not much of a true expert. I just do it because I love it to do the reviews and vehicles. Carl Blank said, keep it up, bro. Enjoyed it a lot. Put Trini on the map. Thank you so much, Carl. That's an excellent comment. Um, Elma Haynes, excellent review. Thank you, Elma. Um, Verma Trini. 1986 rain sensors for wipers question mark does it have a rain sensor if rain sensor fall and you didn't turn on the wiper would it start to itself no no yeah. it's not a rain sensor uh, um rain sensor sorry but that would have been good if it did have to do um yeah i i Karen books give a comment on on the on the um on the channel here and let me just we just put you guys in. Um, so he said, Pal, you need to step up your game. Good attempt for the first run, but information was off on 70% of the vehicle. Trini people don't like to do research. That was our downfall. If you in a WhatsApp group look me up, let's get together and do a proper video for people so you never know this could be the start of something big. I then commented to tell him, I said, thanks for the constructive remarks. Sure, we can make a video one day. And then he then comment to say, um, you took my comment good, thank you so much, I like it. And then I told him, well, feel free to subscribe. And he then went and subscribed. So thank you so very much for doing that. Next one, Ralph Carey. I like to get a vehicle like that. Go ahead, Ralph, why not? Yay. Raphael, sorry. Um, Aruna Khan, okay to make your review complete. I think you should do a road test of the vehicle, like from a dead stop. Also comment on the right quality. I think that was the new buyers. I think that's what the new buyers want after also. Maybe one day I will do it. Guys, it also takes a lot of time out of me, so that's why I have to manage my time also with it. Um Pussy Puppy said, is this a Aqua L 2016? No, it's not, it's no. 2015. I mean it's a, a S or maybe a SE model. So we answer there. Um 
surprised guys just have over 80 something comments i know you guys probably would like us to go through all but we're not going to finish here today if we really do that the video is already 15 minutes long so check out the, the video if you haven't done it i will put a description on it in the comment link below which will be down here so that you'll be able to go and check it out and get all the comments you can read it through for yourself to see the same comments that i read you will be able to see it also to see that person is supposed to so anything else you want to say about the vehicle before we close no she's quiet first time doing a video on my channel so she's quiet maybe next time she might speak a little bit more and probably even louder if you guys didn't hear it i hope you did but I, most things she said i, I repeated it so you probably would have heard it from me so thank you guys so very much i hope you enjoyed this video Thank you to Carissa for being here. Thank you for her aqua vehicle for being part of the, vi the video. And give me comments. Let me know how you guys think this video was. Was it helpful? Did we add something more about the vehicle that you didn't know from our first video? Or do you want something else so that we could do a part three of this video? So please let me know in the comment section below. And if you haven't done a like it, please subscribe and give us a big thumbs up if you like it. <laughs> Bye guys. Thank you. Yeah.